Hello YouTube viewers and welcome to the first video of 2019. Okay, what I've done here, I've used various weathering techniques, as I said, including weathering powders. So basically, I started off with the rust and dirt around here and on here, just doing very light brushes uh, with a paintbrush, thin it out completely, dry brushing and it works a treat. Around the wheels here and the hubs I've used mainly weathering powders just to dampen that down to a, a used look and on the tyres themselves this is going into the quarry I've used a, a, a cement colour. Same with the scoop at the front. On this video I want to show you this JCB which is a cracking model uh, from Oxford uh, Models or Oxford Construction as it's listed on the box here and uh, they made a superb model of this 1980s JCB now I've weathered this quite severely not too severely by using dry brushing techniques and various weathering powders and paints etc so I'll just go through the JCB first so this is articulated you can move things up and down to various positions. You've got the back here, back hoe I think they call that. That goes around like that. And you can move it backwards and forwards on the back there. For transportation it was using this position but if you're modelling scenes say doing some gully work or something like that you can adjust that to the requirements. But I think this is actually cracking a little bit of kit here. This is a box it came in. So basically it's from Oxford Models. Code 76JCX001. And it's a backhoe loader 1980s JCB. Okay, a little bit of history about the JCB story. Just very briefly. It was started by Joseph Cyril Banford uh, in 1949. He brought his first JCB out. And obviously, Joseph Cyril Banford initials JCB. So, the original concept of this tractor digger type thing was for agriculture and obviously it's moved on a lot since then and in 2013 they made their millionth machine I think that's all machines all together but that's some going that's pretty good so uh, these are very iconic uh, worldwide I'd say uh, this this brand but let's get back to the model okay let's go through the various weathering techniques I've done for this so first of all, I've done various rust effect colours around here. Um, again, you could do this as much as you want. Uh, don't overdo it, but this is going to be in a quarry, so it's going to be quite dirty. And for that, I've used a Humbrol Matte 186 Earth colour. On the hydraulics here, I've used a little bit of grey where the paints come away. And the oil's mixed with the dirt as you see so I've used that colour is matte again sorry Humbrol matte 27 which is a grey so apply that in various positions here very very lightly you can probably oddly see that on the camera there's a bit here as well and also a bit of black so we've got the engine cowling which is sorry around the other side I believe oops that's come off there but around the side there there's a bit of black in the engine Unfortunately, this bit here popped off, so I'm going to have to put that back in its position. I'll push in there, down the bottom there, 
Uh, unfortunately, the, the pins here came off. Perhaps I forced it a bit too much, but I can put that back in there. It's not a problem at all. So that's basically some of the weathering around the top there. The scoop here, what I've done here, I've used a, I'll show you this actually, this is a Town & Country Scenics textured paint. So basically it's got lumps in it. So this is going on my um, quarry scene. So again, just dry brush this texture onto the scoop here and onto the back, just there where it's being used. For my scene, if you're doing another building site, you may use a more earthy colour. And I've put a bit of weathering around the side here as well. So that's Town & Country 240405 is the code. And that's a textured concrete paint. So I'm going to use that around the uh, quarry area. I've also used the same material here for the tyres, just around the rims here. So that's been weathered. I'll probably do that a little bit heavier as I do the quarry scene, which I've not finished yet. So a little bit to do down there. Again, just lightly brush around here. And a little bit around the cab, I've done a bit of the earth colours again. But where it's been left outside, obviously more heavy rust. And um, a bit of dirt on the bonnet there. Okay, here's a back end view. I really do like this model. Just under 20 quid I got this for. You can get slightly cheaper actually, I've seen now. Okay, this is one of the iconic pictures of JCB. How do you suppose them? For marketing, etc. Some reason it's like that or higher so vehicles would drive underneath. But the model is very articulated, so you can use it for any poses on the model on the layout or whatever you're modelling at all. The only disadvantage here, I would like to put a drive inside. Now there's there's four screws, two at the bottom, two inside. You can take various bits and I tried to get in the cab, but it doesn't seem to work. And I don't want to destroy the model just getting into the cab, so I want to put a driver in there, but there must be a way of doing it. Uh, but I've not found that way yet, so if anyone knows how to get in there, let me know. You could also put a flashing warning light, amber warning light at the top there. Um, I've considered doing that as well. Again, it's getting into the cab. So you could put a little LED, flashing LED there, and that'll suit really well on top of the cab there. Okay, here's a back end shot again. For any layout, really, this model's quite adaptable, so you can use it for farming. Uh, it could be scrap, could be left outside to rot, something like that. You could do a, a rusted, heavy weathered version. Uh, you can use it on building sites. Any sort of maintenance construction wise, you can use this. But a great addition to a model layout, I think. So basically that's the update. Uh, a very brief one. But I thought it was worth reviewing this model. Because I think it's a cracking model. As I said earlier. But uh, definitely needed weathering. Unless it's brand new. And I think that's just made it more realistic. Shame we can't get a driver in there. There must be a way of doing that. Um, I'm sure someone will crack that. But, um, superb model. Thanks for watching. See you soon.